Hi, my name is John Park from Click Partner Engineering. This video will go through a tutorial of Click Data Integration with Azure Databricks. Click Data Integration is a suite of tools from Click Attunity Acquisition that allows customers to acquire and ingest data in real time and create managed data lakes. Today we'll focus on our partnership with Databricks and demonstrate our capabilities. Using Databricks and Click Data Integration Suite, enterprises can easily leverage Databricks machine learning and AI capabilities on data that is continuously refreshed. In today's demo, we'll review the following three things. Overview of Azure Databricks and Click Data Integration Setup. Click Replicate, performing change data capture from MySQL database to Azure Databricks on a continuous basis. We'll configure a real-time replicate task where changes are trickled into Azure Databricks. Click Compose, creating a managed data lake experience using data landed via Click Replicate. Click Compose will create managed tables on Databricks Delta Lake. Click and Databricks together can make many possible analytics use cases using latest integrations. For our demo, we want to start off with Microsoft Azure Portal. As you can see, I have an Azure Databricks service configured. I'm going to launch the workspace. Make sure I have a cluster created that is ready to go. And in that cluster, I want to make sure advanced settings, Spark enable do as false is configured, as well as the JDBC ODBC connection strings are configured. We'll also need to configure a token for us to get secure access. So this is an API token that you could use to securely access inside uh, Azure Databricks. In the Azure aspect, we will need to configure a storage account. Uh, here I see you have a storage account created. In there you'll see containers, and inside those containers you'll see folders. These folders are actually uh, mounted as file systems for Databricks to use and as well as click data integration suite. Replicate and compose to use land data, process data, and write data for access. Inside Azure, you also need to create uh, a connection to Azure Active Directory and make sure the configurations are working. So these can be all found on the configuring documentation that I'll reference later on. Click Replicate is a CDC and streaming data tool. Click's tool is an enterprise grade which allows you to take real-time data and stream it into whatever endpoint you need it to. In our uh, Replicate demo, we'll take the data from MySQL and stream it into Azure Databricks. For this demo, we've went and downloaded a data set from SeanLeman.com, which is a sabermetric baseball data set. And we've loaded it into MySQL and we created a Replicate task process. So it is running right now. As you can see, we're going to double click on it and we can see that it actually picked up the tables and actually moved from MySQL all the way up to Azure Databricks. And you can see this by the movement here being blue, the connections are good and the data is moving. Another thing we're going to make sure is, is when you hit manage and endpoint connections, you could actually test your connections here. We're going to test, make sure MySQL is good to go. And we're also going to make sure Azure it is good to go. All the documentation, how this tutorial was created is listed on GitHub that I'll reference later. Once done, we could actually go into replicate demo and run a set of queries. So we can see that I ran in state replicate staging, how many table, how many uh, sets of data are we here for all star full number of people. There's 19,000 players in this record and there's uh, 2,925 teams. Let's just do a quick check and make sure that it is fine from MySQL Workbench. 
we're going to run people and we're going to run a quick count here Nineteen eight seven eight. It does verify. Let's go back to the screen, and it says people is nineteen eight seven eight. So what, what we're going to do now is take a set of query and actually execute and see the CDC working. What I'm going to do is actually insert into the people my own name. So let's go back to my SQL. And this is pretty instantaneous, but what you're going to see is I'm going to insert into the, uh, into the people database, John Park. Let's, before that, we knew we had 19,878. I'm going to actually run an insert here. And it did insert. And let's go into... I actually want to do a count again to show you that it was inserted to the database. So one more record there. Uh, let's go into replicate and make sure that they got data loaded. So we're going to go to replicate. And we are going to see if change plus has picked up anything. So this people, there was one insert. So it did pick it up. Now we're going to go into Azure Databricks. And, and usually it shows up as first record. So this is actually better. So let's see. Park John, John Park is actually showing up. Okay, so we've verified that CDC work and this is how Replicate works. So you create your initial jobs and you let the jobs run and it will pick up changes from the logs. For this demo, create a managed data lake from the data loaded from Click Replicate. In the last uh, demo, you saw Click Replicate load baseball data from MySQL into Azure Databricks. From that point, what Click Compose will do is use the metadata and continuously update the data into a managed data lake. As you can see on this diagram, Click Compose is an integration platform that creates managed data lake. It generates a ETL or ELT routine from the metadata that is on the platform. So in this case, Databricks is the engine that is running the ETL or uh, tasks that will generate the managed data lake. Let's take a look. When you open Click Compose, it's project based. So this project is created for Databricks. And on that project, we can see there are uh, multiple things that are already preloaded. There are two terminologies, landing and storage zones for Click Compose. On this project, we can see there are multiple things that are preloaded. Landing and storage are terms used in Compose represent the area where data is continuously delivered and storage is an area where managed data lakes are created. We can see when we actually go into the connections menu, that we actually loaded the data from a MySQL to uh, Azure Databricks task that was created by Replicate. So Replicate was, if we could test, there we go, we could test, test that, make sure that process is loaded and it's doing the full load and change tables. And then Databricks storage, we can see it's Databricks Delta and all the tokens and uh, ports or things configured. All right, we checked landing and storage connections. How Replicate works is how Compose works is by using metadata. When we look at the, when we tap the metadata button on Story Zones, we can see that it will discover the metadata in the landing area. So if we do search, we can see all the tables 
that were created by replicate and we pick up the tables we needed and we just like replicate and then from those tables it generates another metadata view so I don't want to go through this again but you can see here we picked up batting people pitching and teams one of the things that we could do is just change the metadata and remove columns and here I removed the column ID and a couple more columns and renamed so it'd be easier for the end users who are creating analytics to see this we could also do lookups and simple transformations I'm going to validate this metadata. And then I want to see the data storage tasks. So what data storage tasks are ETL or ELT code generated that are generated by the metadata from the landing and the storage tables that are created. We could see there is a storage full, a storage change, and there's a task command. And we can see that the tasks are represented here. And there are 130 process steps, steps for loading batting, people, pitching, and teams. And I'm actually going to execute this just to see this execute through. So here we loaded four tables from replicate to the landing zone and landing zone we made a uh, we the compose took those four tables made made a managed data lake and moved it over close this out and as if I go to monitor it shows me the runs that was completed so how long it took what it did etc etc Now we'll go back to Databricks and actually go into data and go to compose production. You see the four tables. And if you go to batting, you see the names, metadata names change, right? And sample data will refresh. All right. So this was a quick review of Compose, taking data from Replicate and creating a managed data lake. Here are other resources that you could use to continue on with your click data integration and Azure Databricks integration. We have a rich set of capabilities making sure your data is delivered on time and managed data lakes are created.